When I come on the air, I say stupid people of America. And the other thing is this, and I say it every week, and I mean it because it's a fact. If you ain't mad, you ain't paying attention. Yes, sir. This is MacArthur Park, park you probably heard about in songs and stories. My mother used to bring me here when I was a kid, and my brother and I would just run wild out here and have a good time. You can't bring your kids here anymore because of the drug sales, the illegal document sales. All of this is due to the, the vast influx of illegal aliens who've come in here and taken over this park. But now all the streets are barricaded uh, because of the drug sales. The, the police refuse to do anything about it. Uh, it. It's sad because all of this could have been avoided had the government just closed the border and kept these people from being here, and uh, we would have never had this problem. The elected officials refused to address the problem. Uh, the black elected officials refused to address the problem. My own congressman refuses to address the problem. And I think the problem is black folks see all minorities as allies. And this is not the case. These people are not here for our common good. They're here for their own good. Black folks see all minorities as allies and this is not the case these people are not here for our common good they're here for their own good black folks see all minorities as allies and this is not the case these people are not here for our common good, they're here for their own good. If this was white folks committing these lynchings to us in South Central, what's going on? There would be an outrage in this country. We have had fire bombs thrown through windows. We have had people's cars burn in the driveway because they happened to move into the wrong communities. We had a lady who moved to East L.A., came to, to the state from the South, not knowing what East L.A. was. It was an all-Hispanic community. She wasn't there one day. We had another man who was burned out of his house in Torrance last year. We had five murders in Hawaiian Gardens just because the people were black. This would not be tolerated if this was white on black crime and there there are race riots in the schools every day in Los Angeles it never makes the media my answer to you sir would be we don't need any new laws enforce the ones we got enforce the law when you reward lawbreakers you get more lawbreakers when you ignore the law you get more law breaking how about just enforce the law we have good laws we don't need comprehensive reform amnesty as it's, as it's known in washington dc we need comprehensive enforcement and it does work in arizona illegal alien population down over twice what it is on the national average and that's because here in arizona we're enforcing the law My great-grandfather, my great-grandfather was a slave in the state of Louisiana. Obviously, I never met him. But the ancestry handed down to me by those who came before me, my aunts and uncles and my father, and they all told me the stories of what it was like because it was passed on to them. And one of the greatest moments in our history was the day we were emancipated. We had to have something passed that said officially we were no longer property, we were now citizens, and anything born to us was citizens. That was written for my ancestors, okay. Having said that, we've got a new misinterpretation of it that everybody from the world has used to come here and have babies and make them American citizens. Paul, proponents of changing the, the 14th Amendment argue that it basically rewards people who are here illegally by granting their kids citizenship. I mean, aren't we incentivizing people to break our laws? No, of course not. First off, it's a civil violation, okay? <laughs> Second off, people come here for the work. They don't come here to, to, to have babies. They have babies anywhere they want to have babies. But the, the, the notion that we should attack one of the fundamental freedoms of our Constitution. Now, the 14th Amendment was put in after the Civil War, after 600,000 of us died 
uh, for the notion of freedom. And one of those freedoms is if you're born here, you're an American, and you shouldn't have to pass anybody else's test of political correctness to be an American. Senator Pierce, what about that? You've basically proposed to change well, the Constitution. Let, i got to tell you, this is interesting, the great spin he puts on it. The 14th Amendment was written in 1866, ratified in 1868, belonged to one group of people only, African Americans, to give them their rightful place at the table that they would be denied after that war. Had nothing to do with foreigners at all, legal but, or illegal. Well, I, the 14th Amendment was written in 1866, ratified in 1868, belong to one group of people only, African Americans, to give them their rightful place at the table that they would be denied after that war. Had nothing to do with foreigners at all, legal but, or illegal. Well, I, the 14th Amendment was written in 1866, ratified in 1868, belong to one group of people only, African Americans, to give them their rightful place at the table that they would be denied after that war. Had nothing to do with foreigners at all, legal or illegal. I In fact, it didn't even apply to American Indians. They said because they belong to a tribe, have alienage, allegiance to a tribe, and belong to a tribe and were born on a sovereign nation, it didn't apply to them. There's no doubt where they were born. Congress had to pass three acts, one in the 1800s, the other one in 1901, the other one in 1924, giving citizenship to the Indians. It is wrong. It is a misinterpretation. And it angers me personally because it was written for my ancestors and now it's being misused and therefore used against me. I'm suffering from that. My kids and my grandkids are going to suffer because they took an amendment meant for us and turned it around against us. That's outrageous. The way liberals um, have treated blacks like children and many of their policies have been harmful to blacks, at least they got the beneficiary group right. We do have to, I mean, we shouldn't, there is the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow laws. We don't owe the homeless. We don't owe feminists. We don't owe women who are desirous of having abortions, but that's, or, or gays who want to get married to one another. That's what civil rights has become for much of the left. They dropped the blacks after rights? five minutes. Immigrant rights are not civil rights? Um, no, I think civil rights are for blacks. See, that, this is essentially the problem. And the Republicans what did, don't, wait, don't, don't I just understand. Say, what have we done to the immigrants? We owe black people something. We have a legacy of slavery. Immigrants haven't even been in this country. Immigrant rights are not civil rights? Um, no, I think civil rights are for blacks. See, that, this is essentially the problem, and the Republicans what did, don't, wait, don't, don't I just understand. Say, what have we done to the immigrants? We owe black people something. We have a legacy of slavery. Immigrants haven't even been in this country. Immigrant rights are not civil rights? Um, no, I think civil rights are for blacks. See, that, this is essentially the problem, and the Republicans what did, wait, don't, don't understand. Just say, what have we done to the immigrants? We owe black people something. We have a legacy of slavery. Immigrants haven't even been in this country. But you see, most of us are either immigrants or are the descendants of immigrants. And well, we everybody. understand that we understand, not everybody, there are Native Americans there. 